This, most of all, must rouse you to despise death. Bright star, would I were steadfast as thou art, not in lone splendor hung aloft the night, and watching with eternal bits apart, like nature's patient, sleepless eremite, the moving waters of the priest-like task of pure ablution round earth's human shores, or gazing on the new soft-fallen mask of snow upon the mountains and the moors. No, yet still steadfast, still unchanging, pillowed upon my fair love's ripening breast, to feel forever its soft fall and swell, awake forever in sweet unrest. Still, still to hear her tender taken breath, and so live ever, or else swoon to death. The jester doffed his cap and bells, and stood the mock before the door. They could not see the bitter smile behind the painted grin he wore. He bowed his head, and bent his knee upon the monarch's silken stool. His pleading voice arose, O oh Lord, be merciful to me, a fool. No pity, Lord, could change the heart, from red with wrong to white as wool. The rod must heal the sin, but Lord, be merciful to me, a fool. Tis not by guilt in the onward sweep of truth and right, O oh Lord, we stay. Tis by our follies that so long we hold the earth from heaven away. These clumsy feet, still in the mire, go crushing blossoms without end. These hard, well-meaning hands we thrust among the heartstrings of a friend. The ill-timed truth we might have kept, who knows how sharp and pierced and stung. The word we had not sense to say, who knows how grandly it had rung. Our faults no tenderness should ask. The chastening stripes must cleanse them all, but for our blunders, oh, in shame before the eyes of heaven we fall. Earth bears no balsam for mistakes. Men crown the name and scourge the tool that did his will, but thou, O oh Lord, be merciful to me. Silence rose the king and sought his garden's cool and walked apart and murmured low. herself, who at first introduced you, just as the praetor who engaged the actor again dismisses him from the stage. But, say you, I have not spoken my five acts, but only three. True, but in life, three acts make up the play. For he sets the end who was responsible for its composition at the first, and for its present dissolution. You are responsible for neither. Depart then graciously, for he who dismisses you is gracious. <laughs> 